This is, uh, of course, the theme tune for the huge show, Succession, and we're playing it because I'm delighted to say we're joined in the studio by 2019 Golden Globe winner, star of the show, Brian Cox. Brian is involved in a brand new show on the BBC called Maestro, and the legendary actor teaches you how to take centre stage, captivate audiences. I could do with both of those, actually. <laughs> and he'll also be giving you tips on how to better your own acting abilities. Brian, very good morning to you. Yeah. Yeah. Brian, great to see you. Good morning. Good morning, Ali. I think we, should, we should get stuck in here because you said to me a moment or two ago that you've got a great Ali McCoy well, story. Th this is, we did a film. What was that film called? A Shot at Glory. A Shot at Glory. <laughs> the reason so, you can't remember is, is pretty obvious, but it's the only one I ever made, Brian. Well, I know, but... <laughs> and that's was, pretty obvious, it was, too. It was infamous. So we had this moment when... Ali has to miss a penalty. It's very important that he misses his penalty. And there's a guy called Cole Hauser, who's an American lad, who's never picked up a football in his life. So he's, he needs as much help as he can. I think about 10 takes of him scoring, he could not miss the penalty. And the, the, and the director was going nuts. What's wrong with the man? What's wrong? I said, he's a footballer. He says he sees a goal. He's naturally inclined to want to score. He said, "But he's not supposed to score." He's not. He said, "Yes, that's the actor, but the footballer doesn't know that. The footballer can't think in that way. You've got to understand. He sees a goal. He wants to score." He said, but we're wasting time. Oh, go that was brilliant. <clears throat> Brian's absolutely spot. Eventually, Jeff, I swear to God, with the city call, look, I'm going to put it there. Dive there. <laughs> and I'll try and put it near you. <laughs> and he, he did save it up eventually after about yeah, 10 but you minutes. used to go, he would go that way. And send it. Because you couldn't resist. Oh, it was great fun. It was great fun. So tell me, you're, you're really busy, Brian. We're seeing you all the time on, on, on television, bits and pieces. Tell us a little bit the, the BBC show The Maestro. Well, it's a thing that I wanted to do for a long time because teaching was one of my passions and I started teaching really very, very much at the beginning of my career. I mean, I was 24 when I started teaching and I started teaching because the guy who was the principal of the school where I had been said, look, you should come back and teach. And I said, but I'm too young. He said, no, that's exactly, this guy called Norman Ed, and he said, that's exactly what I want. I want someone who's immediate, who knows about the problems of making that bridge from being a student to being a professional actor. So I went there and I had this amazing uh, group, which was this, which had Harriet Walter, Dame Harriet Walter yeah. was in my first group. And also the wonderful dear, sadly, no longer, well, died far too young, was Ian Charleston, yeah. who was a Scottish actor, mm -hmm. who uh, famous in, in Chariots of Absolutely. Fire. Playing Eric Absolutely. I mean, wonderful, wonderful <clears throat> boy. Amazing singing voice. So he was in my first group, so I was very lucky. But I always loved teaching because I could see how difficult it was for kids coming into drama school. And usually they're their own worst enemies. Usually they don't give themselves a break. They just, they're not kind to themselves. Mm -hmm. they, they get so tense and it's, it's very tense making business i can understand that so the the important thing is to find out who they are and let them be who they are as opposed to be who they think they are you know which is yeah. a different thing altogether so that's what i loved about teaching is it, an, is it an important thing for you to do in the respect brian that uh, clearly it's a career that has been very very kind to you and and, and you've enjoyed is, do you feel that it's an opportunity to maybe give a little bit back? Put Absolutely. I mean, I've, I've, I've always felt that right from the word go, that everything. And also the other thing is when you work with students, you learn as well. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's a two-way thing. You know, you're learning because you're seeing those problems that you still have, where you still get in the way of yourself, even at my yeah. age, you know, after 60 years in the game, you know, I still yeah. get in my own way. So that's wonderful. And, and, and it's a it's a reminder of just, how you have to be as well in relationship to your own work and that it's invaluable mm -hmm. and so this the, and the guys who've edited the show i mean they they you know because it was it was much more higgledy piggledy than you see in the organized what we've done and it's, it's very impressive i'm very impressed with how they've done it so it's a course with the bbc it gives you all the tools and techniques to turn your passion into a potential career it's online at bbcmaestro.com if you want to download it but look i mean um You've been in the brand new TV show, haven't you? Um, 007 Road to a Million. It, it, is it true, Brian, that you wanted to be a Bond villain? Well, no, I mean, I'm the, 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 when it was first came up to me, I thought, 
you know, because I've I've thought you know I could have been a Bond villain over the years. So well, Bond, you look at Robbie Coltrane and, and, and Robert Calleo. Well, it's exactly, perfect for you, mate. Exactly, exactly. I mean, those Scottish people from the west of Scotland get to go. Why not? Why not exactly. Nice, why not a Nice coaster? <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you. I think the, 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 there's limitless you know possibilities yeah. for you there. So you know, so I thought, well, that may be it, and then I realised it quickly wasn't that. It was a, it was this elaborate game show, but also the broccoli's. Are, I mean, Barbara is a delight. She's an absolute delight, and I've known Barbara from way years ago. So I was very happy to be into the part of that group, even though some people said, "I have no idea what Brian Cox is doing." Apparently, I didn't read that, but somebody <laughs> told me that. They, people always say, you know. People are going, and I say, oh, don't, just go away, that's fine, all right. <laughs> but as, as acting, as it, has it changed over the years, or is it just in terms of what we're seeing? And by that I mean Netflix, you can get Amazon Prime, there's the access to Oh, movies. the access from the public's point of view is, is it's incredible, incredible, isn't it? I mean, they've got so much to choose from, there's so much work out there, and it's great to watch it. I mean, it really is. And see a lot of the stuff that's happening now. You know, I, I was watching the... Cary Grant show with uh, Jason Isaacs, which I thought was quite interesting last night. I watched that last night. And then there's Crime, that uh, Irving Welsh show, which I think yes. is really, really very, very good. No, there's lots of work. And also you learn from watching. I mean, I my great thing is I'm a Turner Classic Movies fan. So I watch a lot of those old movies because I love the older actors because, you know, when they go on about Brando being the new guy, and I go, no, I'm sorry, people were acting in a very immediate sense way before Brando in the 30s and, you know, 40s, you know, you saw these great, I mean, I mean, Bogart, you know, you watch Bogart doing his stuff, you know, wonderful actors. Well, see, it's interesting that you mentioned, like, when we get sports people in here, I like to ask them who their heroes are, but I also like to ask them, current crop, have you any special favourite actors and you're, you're, like, you're enjoying their movies, enjoying their work at this moment in time? Currently? Oh, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I, I'm particularly impressed by Bradley Cooper. Yeah. Who I think is a bit of a genius, that lad. I've just seen Maestro, which is an amazing piece of work, where he plays Leonard Bernstein, or Bernstein, yeah. I think that's how they pronounce it. And uh, he is a man, he's incredible, absolutely incredible. He's written it, he's directed it, uh, and, uh, and, he, and he's playing the main part, he's playing the guy. And it's an extraordinary work, and there's a, an amazing performance from Carey Mulligan, who's just one of the best young actresses around. So... That is, yeah, there's some great work out there, really great work. And there's great work in the theatre. Yeah. The, the British theatre at the moment, you know, there was The Motive in the Queue, which was the play about um, John Gilgood directing Richard Burton and Hamlet, which is on the national. I think it's transferred with an amazing performance from Mark Gatiss as he channels Gilgood brilliantly. And then there's the This England about Gareth Southgate, mm -hmm. yeah. which is, I think, exceptional <coughs> production. And one, and Joe Fiennes, who's an old pal yeah. and an old friend, you know, giving a, an amazing performance as Gareth Southgate. Yeah. You know, so it, there's a lot of great work out there at the moment. Brilliant. Uh, look, Brian, really appreciate appreciate you coming in. Uh, just a reminder again that um, Maestro, which will give you all the tools and techniques to turn your passion into a, a potential career and what a great career it can be. We've seen that with Brian. Yeah. It's online at bbcmaestro.com if you want to download it. So, thanks, Great Brian. to see you, Brian. Nice to see you, Ali. Great to see you. You're looking well? Everything's good. Life's good, my friend. That's thanks good. for taking the time to come in and say hello. Take care. All the best. Thanks, thanks Brian. Bye-bye. Talk Sport Breakfast. Waking you up Monday to Friday morning from 6 a.m. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.